Hello everybody, how's it going? So today we're going to be going over really briefly this TCP connection state diagram and basically outlines how TCP connects to other TCP sockets. Um, we're going to clear up some terminology real quick. So basically passive, let's think about this as like a server and active as like a client. That's the traditional naming scheme for that. Also, we're going to actually not start from the top for this because from right here, this in this box, well, it's not really a box, but anyway, in this area, this is consistent. These things that happen inside of here are always going to happen once you reach the either the established or fin weight one. So we can go over that first and use it as a base because it happens with pretty much every single connection that's successful um, or a connection that closes. And once we establish the understanding of this, we can work on the top part. So let's start from established. Let's pretend this is, there's already an existing connection, right? And that our socket one, we can do our socket A, and our socket B from our server and our client have already successfully made a connection and want to send data through. So what this established state means is basically that you're free to send free to send and receive data. And this is where everything's gonna happen over there. So once we get to that, there's a couple ways we can go about this. So you're either going to initiate the closing of the socket yourself or the other person's gonna initiate it for you. So let's like look at the path if you initiate the closing of the socket yourself. So you're gonna call close, which is this normal TCP command use TCP at all, you're going to have to know close sock, right? And when you call this close, you're going to send a fin. So what fin means is you're basically telling the other thing you're connected to, hey, I'm done. So once you send your fin, you're going to enter the state called wait one. And what you're waiting for is you're waiting for them to basically um, acknowledge that you sent the fin or receive a fin of your own because if you receive a fin of your own or if they send a fin to you basically it means they also want to close and you since you sent one and you know you've sent one because it's you sent it and you've received one you know for sure that both of you want to close and you can just shut down the connection so let's look at that so right here if you receive a fin like i was saying you go into closing state which basically means you're waiting for them to acknowledge that they've received your fin so you know that they know that you want to close. And once you receive that, then you enter a time wait phase, which is basically you waiting to make sure that they have received your acknowledge that you sent in response to their fin, right? So after this timeout finishes, you delete your TCP, which is just the table that holds data um, about the hosts and ports and whatnot. You just have to know that it's just a table. It's in the documentation. And then you enter the closed state. And what the closed state means is um, basically nothing's happening. It's just done. So that's the first path if you receive a fin. Now let's say that you don't receive a fin at first and you actually receive your acknowledge first. So you send your fin after you initiate your close and you enter fin one like before. And instead, instead of receiving their fin, you receive an acknowledgement. So you're going to go into the second state called fin wait two, and you're just going to wait for their fin because you want to know, right? Both of you want to agree to close. And this is a this is a concept throughout TCP and network programming in general. Both the client and the server, or two clients or two servers, or however you want to make it, all the entities need to know that they're on the same page. So. You're going to go to finwait2, and you're going to receive a fin, and you're going to send your own acknowledgement, because every time you receive something, you acknowledge it, especially these fin and sin words, because this is how the TCP sockets know what each other, what they're thinking. That's how they communicate what they're thinking, if they could think. So once you send the fin and acknowledge, you're going to go in the time wait, because you want to make sure that they have had enough time to receive your acknowledge, and once that time's out, you're going to delete your TCP like before, and you're going to enter closed. Cool. But let's say you're the one that receives the fin and didn't, it didn't like start off the close yourself. 
So when you receive their fin, you're going to acknowledge it and you're going to be like, okay, they want to close. So you're going to enter close weight. And in the close weight state, you're going to initiate your own close, right? Close sock. And you're going to send your fin. You're going to wait for them to acknowledge you because you've already acknowledged them for their fin and you know they want to close. So they have to know that you want it. And once you receive this acknowledgement, you're good to go. Just close. Because they're doing the, all this other stuff right here that we just went over. That's on them, right? Because they initiated the close and they sent the fin first. And you just received it. So the weighing the time out and whatnot and confirming isn't on you. So let's just get rid of that. So now that we have how to close after you've established a connection and you've done all your data transfer, let's go into opening a connection because it's a little bit more convoluted and there's a small amount or like there's a little bit more paths that you can take. So every single time you start in the closed and it's a cyclical, right? You close, you open, you end, and you end and close. And close is basically your beginning and your end. So you start and close. And let's take a look at the passive tree. Now, like I said earlier, passive usually refers to server. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna call it passive for now, but think of it kind of like a server because it's more along the lines of what the server does. So you're gonna call open, which opens the socket, and you're gonna create a TCB, which stores information, and you're gonna listen. Now, this should be familiar from doing socket programming. And when you're listening, it means that any port you have access to, if you hear a connection, or you basically open your port to receive connections and accept them. So the way you know if someone wants to connect is you're going to receive a SYN. So let's go into that. It's the only path out of a SYN here. Well, actually there's two, but we're going to go with the traditional server way of having a client connect to you instead of you try to send out and connect to a client. So say you receive the SYN. What you're going to return, send in response is your own SYN and an acknowledgement of theirs. And once you enter that state, you're in SYN received. Once you get back an acknowledgement of your SYN, you're good to go. Connection established, send and receive data, whatever you want. And this bottom part happens like we described, just like in the first couple examples. So let's, also, let's go down this path again. You open, right? You see you have a SYN. And let's say this time for whatever reason, you're like, ah, I don't wanna do this. So you decide to close the connection right because you received the sin and you send a fin instead and when you send that fin you're just gonna wait basically to for this guy to acknowledge your close and you're gonna go through all these same steps again right these ones just like before and you can follow the flowchart that I've explained already so let's take a look now at when you look at passive go down and you're listing and let's say you want to open a connection. Say you're, um, I don't know, like a proxy and you act as both like a client and a server. So you're going to want to send out your own SYN to say, hey, I want to open a connection with you. Please let me in. So you're going to call send and you're going to send your own SYN. And you're going to end up in this state. SYN sent. And what you're waiting for, you're waiting for an acknowledge or a SYN yourself. So you know you want a SYN and an acknowledge from the other entity so you know you, that you guys both want to connect so say you receive right a send and an acknowledge back like right here from some socket that's listening say you're proxy you're connecting to a web server and you receive a sin acknowledge back you send an acknowledge for their sin and you're good to go connection established cool but say we're back here again and send sent and say while you're sending the connection to the server and then for some reason they're trying to connect to you too so they've also sent a sin so in send sent if you receive a send you will send an acknowledge and because you're both sending sins to each other you're going to end up mirroring so both of them are actually going to go through this tree and the three-way handshake concept which is what you need in TCP, the standard for opening a connection that we've shown earlier. And the reason it's called three way is because, right? You receive a SYN, you send a SYN, get an acknowledge, or receive an acknowledge. You basically have to check with each other. But 
when you both send sins, this actually still happens and it's still accomplished. So you receive a sin and send an acknowledge, right? So you've both sent sins, you've both sent acknowledgements to each other. And because you're mirroring and you've received the sin, as you after, right after you send your sin, you're not receiving your acknowledge immediately. So you get it to go into a new state. And you receive the acknowledgement for your sin. And which brings us to here again. And which brings us to connection established. So pretty cool. So the next thing we're going to look at real quick for listen is uh, a lot of you're listening and you just call close. So if you call close and you haven't actually established any connections, you have nothing to communicate, right? So you just delete your TCB and you just close pretty simply. Let's say you're in close that you want to connect to a server and you're actually like a client. So we refer to this as open active and uh, active is basically a client. You're going to create your own TCB because each side needs one. You're going to send a send. You're going to enter a send sent, right? And from here, you're going to take the, one of the two other paths that we just went over. So if you send your SIN and you receive this back from this side, from the other entity in the SIN receive state, you're good to go. And if you send your SIN and you also receive a SIN, it's like what we just went over, and you still end up in the SIN acknowledge because you, trans you go into the SIN receive state, both of you, and then you both go into the established. So that covers all the connection state diagrams and all the trees you could possibly go through. Just remember that from established, the way you close is standard, and even the way you open is standard. You just have to remember to follow the three-way handshake rule. And uh, there is documentation on that. All right.